Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Ray-Ban RB4376 sunglasses. But first off, thank today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So these frames have a very familiar style to them. Uh, definitely very similar to the Ray-Ban Cats 5000, which have been out for 30 plus years years, but kind of a more modern take on those frames. Uh, they have the tear shop shaped lenses with these nylon polished Havana frames and then brown gradient lenses. I really do like this gradient here. It definitely adds more character to these frames and also they're relatively practical as well. Of course, uh, typically most of the bright sun is coming from up high and then down low, you're not getting too much uh, bright sun. So if you're looking at a phone or if you're reading, uh, gradient lenses are definitely very, very practical. Uh, for kind of an all-around purpose a pair of frames. Now these are a category three lens up here at the top and they do kind of transition down here uh, to a category two, which isn't going to be too dark. Uh, these are non-polarized, but I do believe they do sell these uh, with a polarized lens option as well. Now, as far as the lens material goes, these are Ray-Ban's polycarbonate lenses, uh, which are going to uh, be very clear and nice, very high quality. Everything is good about these, but they're not gonna be quite as clear or crisp or have good as good scratch as an all glass lens would, uh, but because they are a polycarbonate, they're going to be much more lightweight than those all glass lenses. Uh, so these frames with the lenses come in at only 23 grams. So you can definitely pop these frames and wear them all day long without any discomfort. And you still have this very uh, good looking aviator style pair of sunglasses to you, uh, which is really cool. And I definitely like the light and the way these frames uh, just kind of slide on the face uh, very easily and nicely. Uh, now, as far as the hinges go, these have three barrel all metal hinges and they feel very nice and premium, just very, very good right out of the box. But the metal hinges here are not connected to a rod. Uh, so there is no metal rod here on the temples at all, uh, which is gonna put a lot of uh, stress points right there on the hinge. And because of that, you, I'm not gonna expect these to last as long as something like a pair of Ray-Ban Cats 5000 or something with an acetate frame or just something with a metal rod that runs down the temples. Uh, these don't have that and again they're just not going to last quite as long because uh, it's putting a lot of stress here if you do bend them at a bad angle so definitely make sure to kind of take care of these frames because they're not going to be as robust as some other Ray-Ban options. Uh, now of course like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses these have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in top right corner of the lens for authentication purposes and then here in the middle left of the lens we can see a little etched RB logo also there for authentication purposes. Moving down to the outside temples we can see a raised Ray-Ban logo uh, and both the left and the right hand side, which definitely you can kind of add a little bit of extra character and a little bit of extra pop to them as well because it's kind of that chrome Ray-Ban logo. So I actually don't, you know, hate that logo, even though typically I don't like frames with a lot of logoing on them. Uh, now, as far as built quality goes, these are built really good. Everything here is very good. The polishing is good. I really do like the nylon material. It's a high quality nylon and it looks really good in the sunlight, similar to an acetate. Definitely not as nice and as clear and crisp as an acetate would be. Uh, definitely kind of had that cloudy nylon kind of painted on uh, kind of color scheme to them, which I don't love. But these nylon frames are gonna be much more robust than an acetate as far as the actual material itself goes. You know, you could not get away with an acetate, a pair of frames without a metal stem through it. It would, it would, it would break and, and it loses adjustment very easily. Uh, where here, again, there's a ton of flex here and they're just gonna kind of bounce back to where they were, are. Now, it's definitely harder to make adjustments on this pair of frames, because uh, again, they don't have that metal rod as well. So it's hard to get these uh, uh, tweaked perfectly. But overall, I'd say the build quality here is pretty decent. My biggest issue is gonna be the actual quality control. So here in the inner right temple of frames, you can see they say Ray-Ban T, which typically means it's made in China. It means it's not made in Italy if it's a T. And if we take a look at the inner right, your rest of the frames, you can see it does in fact say made in China. Uh, so these are a Chinese pair of frames. In the inner left temple, we can just see the exact model number and code there. Uh, now the reason why I say the quality control is an issue, and it, it's typically an issue with the Chinese sunglasses, sometimes you get a good pair, sometimes you get a bad pair, is the actual lens here, the right lens is actually not fully seated in the rim of the frame. Uh, so I'm actually going to try to pop it out on camera because it's trying to pop out as it is. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it, so I might look silly here. Uh, but right here, it's popping out. So I'm gonna put some extra pressure here and just kind of press that 
out, and just like that, the lens popped out. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing uh, to the other lens, which is uh, seated in it properly, and here with the same amount of pressure and no heat whatsoever, it's not coming out. It's just not gonna come out. Uh, so uh, basically, that just comes down to a quality control thing. There's no reason, there's no imperfections here on, on the actual rim of the frame. I'm sure the lens is cut properly because it's done by a robot. And uh, it just comes down to the actual uh, quality control. Whoever inspected this exact pair of sunglasses did a poor job and they didn't look at it proper, long enough and properly enough to see that the lens was kind of peeking out there. And because of that, the lens just popped out. Now the problem is uh, not everybody's going to notice this when buying a pair of frames. You know, they just pop them on. They're not really inspecting them that much. They don't have kind of the optical eye. And uh, because of that, maybe they're on a jet ski, maybe they're on an ATV and they're driving around and it's bumpy and the lens is gonna pop out, fall on the ground, potentially kind of break and get scratches on it. Maybe it'll get lost if you're on a jet ski in the ocean. Now keep in mind, this might be the only pair of frames that has had this issue in the history of this production line. The person who did the quality control just happened to screw up once and that's the pair that I had. What's the chance of that? I'm not sure, but there is definitely a trend where Chinese made Ray-Ban sunglasses don't have as good quality control. Again, the frame material here is decent. The hinges feel good. The lens quality is fine. These are polycarbonate lenses. Everything about these is good, including the price, which is $158, which is a pretty reasonable price for a pair of lightweight uh, frames like these. Uh, so, you know, I'm obviously going to uh, professionally uh, install this lens and make sure it is seated in completely perfect before I put these on the website. And then as soon as it's done, this pair of frames is gonna be perfect, just as good as any other pair that comes off the line. Uh, it's not like this cannot be fixed. But by the average person, you know, these are nylon. Nylon's kind of a pain in the neck to work with as far as heating it up goes and uh, getting the adjustments right. Uh, but for me, it's not gonna be an issue. I'm gonna have this lens popped in after I film this video in about two minutes. Uh, but definitely something that is quite annoying. And, um, you know, again, it's a trend with the Ray-Ban Chinese frames. They just really should go the extra mile with their quality control. I'm sure this looks ridiculous right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it for the video. Let me know what you think about this pair of frames in the comment section down below. I really do like it other than this. And as soon as I pop on the lens, it's going to be perfect. But um, yeah, I... Uh, I don't know, I, I feel silly talking about this pair of frames as a lens missing, but um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs down below, and of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one, well, hopefully not like this one, uh, to the YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.